Hello, dear friends. The signs of global change are getting stronger by the day, and the crisis has no favorites because it is hitting all countries, although some have more defenses than others. Opinion piece. Is China preparing for war? Factories are closing in China. Troops are being concentrated in Ladakh. It seems to be an internal Chinese strategy. 30 million soldiers have been trained. Foreign teachers have been fired. Higher self is the new technology, according to Dr. Xavi. Bolivia and Mexico built world's cheapest electric car. Let's start. Civis pacem para bellum is a Latin maxim meaning if you want peace, prepare for war, or better translating, translated, if you really want peace, prepare for war. At the General Military Academy in Zaragoza, Spain, the motto is inscribed at the entrance to the Escalera del Cañón, an emblematic area of the main building. Although this doesn't seem to be the case in China, where an uprising against its own regime is expected after the events of the scare. China prepares to go to war according to the Storm Rider. The CCP ordered all medical manufacturers in China supplying goods for consumers around the world to start supply lines for the CCP's Central Military Commission preparing for military intervention. According to China's newly revised defense law, everyone participates in national defense. In quotes, all national organizations, armed forces, political parties, civilian groups, enterprises, social organizations, and other organizations must support and participate in the development of national defense, perform national defense duties, and carry out national defense missions in accordance with the law. Close quotes. Foreign teachers at all universities are forced to leave because of the possibility of imminent conflict. All metal production to G7 countries and several foreign countries will cease and be diverted to military production. Industrial food supply chains are being diverted to military operations programs. Troops are preparing for another advance below the line of control in Ladakh, Little Tibet, preparing to size more of India's territory in the Himalayas. Military exercises in the China Sea around Taiwan and near Japan have ensured the delivery of national defense ammunition and artillery to all fleets and complete upgrades to existing missile systems. It is estimated that, that more than 30 million soldiers are currently training in six regions of China. President Xi Jinping knew that his country's swamp was planning to release biological weapons and that war was imminent. The only way she can cleanse the CCP regime is for the communist country to carry out its final plans to create war. While millions of new Chinese civilian soldiers are armed, they are expected to create an uprising against their own regime after the scary events. The coalition has now infiltrated China's largest universities in the last 20 years. China's Chinese hacking groups and Chinese white hat intelligence forces are currently declassifying drops of information across China and gaining momentum for the upcoming events. China News China conducts live fire combat exercises in the East China Sea. Maritime attack drills were conducted during the exercises, which involved anti submarine defense, air defense, and missile defense formations. China is arming the Chinese all over the world to support the CCP. In other words, mobilizing ethnic Chinese everywhere to turn every Chinese person into an agent of the CCP. 
military exercises in South America. Iran, Russia, and China are preparing to conduct a series of major war exercises in Latin America in a show of force. In mid-August, Venezuela will host the Snipa Frontier competition with the participation of militaries from Russia, Iran, and China, as well as at least 10 other countries. I think it's not in mid-August, but in mid-September. China brings artificial rain in the midst of its longest heat wave in history. China launches its Chongqing 16 research satellite into space. According to Graham Stefan, China is experiencing an economic recession as interest rates fall, spending declines and property values fall. China's debt bubble is worse than Evergrande as banks are failing. Factories are closing in China. Chinese authorities are being forced to close factories, but this time it is not for health reasons, according to Palki Sharma. China meets forecasts and cuts interest rates to revive its economy. China lower raised rates again and asks its banks not to cut credit. Xi Jinping visits Saudi Arabia. This is major news and has the potential to change the future of the world economy, according to Cyrus Janssen. Saudi Arabia opens the door to a cut in oil production, but supply is increasingly out of line with demand. China will help rebuild its biggest project in Africa, restoring the Tanzania-Zambia Railway 50, year af 50 years after it was built. Is someone trying to overthrow the U EU, the US and Communist China at the same time? Asks Benjamin Fulford, who believes that the rulers of all th three regions are working for the same people. Moves by the Communist China's government to create social credit scores and constantly monitor the population also fit in with the Davos Forum's plans. The European Union and the Biden administration tried to do the same, but were met with stronger resistance. Now, all three blocs face simultaneous economic crises that are compounded by historically and unprecedented simultaneous drafts. In addition to the economic crisis, the old regime leaders are facing social unrest triggered by the response to the crisis. The Asian secret societies have been informed of this and are responding with a major push across China. And that is why so many people left the buildings in Shanghai during its recent shutdown, sources say. Reset news. Global bankruptcy process. Precious Middles expert and financial writer Bill Holter says we are heading for a financial calamity the likes of which we have never seen before. According to the X22 report, central banks want inflation and the good guys were counting on this. The climate agenda implodes all the time because people see it all. The euro hits its lowest level against the dollar since its inception. Inflation soars and Europe's economic slumps after six months of war in Ukraine. Inflation forces Europeans to change their habits. Secret, secret stashes of gold and silver under the ground to help in the Great Reset according to Pixway. There are too many secrets about the quantity and availability of gold and the unavailability of silver in the financial world. When the truth comes out, there will be a massive reset in the gold-silver ratio. Hold on tight. Russia's new gold exchange will be a game-changer. Planning to establish its own gold standard and precious metal ex exchange goes beyond creating a market to sell its own gold. 
Russia is looking to form an alliance with, with other commodity superpowers such as China and India to destroy the monopoly of Western gold exchanges. Davos Forum pushes for plain chips and internet in the body. Rats abandon the sinking ship, writes Alex Jones. In quotes, John McAfee faked his death and it is still alive, quotes, in Texas, says his Belizean ex-girlfriend Samantha Herrera. Fauci resigns. Critics have a theory about why Fauci is stepping down in December. Twitter whistleblower reveals company concealed extreme and egregious deficiencies. Musk cites Dorothy and former security chiefs, chief. German, Germany scandal. Chancellor Olaf Scholz is under investigation over allegations that he pressured the municipal tax office to exempt divided dividend taxes for foreign investors while he was mayor. Putin arrested his own intelligence chief and several generals, bankers, corporate executives and government officials in a major two-week purge. Supply crisis. World Bank wants of new food crisis. Record food, food prices could push millions into extreme poverty. The World Bank wanted in this latest security update. Sri Lanka ranks fifth among the 10 countries with the highest food inflation at 80%. UK's biggest port hit by a massive strike causes supply chain chaos. Amish farm threatened by US government because he refused to stop using traditional farming methods. Social unrest over energy shortages in Switzerland. Swiss police chief warns that winter power shortages could cause unrest. Dutch farmers protested all weekend. Demonstrations in Italy against World Cup governments. There were also demonstrations in Australia against the government. Protests against the government in Germany on 20th August. Also on 20th August, a demonstration took place in Melbourne, Australia. German exports outside the, Euro the European Union fell by 7.6% in July. Germany is threatened by recession and high inflation, according to the Bundesbank. Hacking forces on a French hospital to close. Forces, I mean. France wants to limit private jet flights and make it Europe-wide. Europe is suffering the worst draft in 500 years, says the Commission. As autumn approaches, millions of people across the UK are bracing themselves for soaring inflation and expensive energy bills. Greece hosts, hosts more than 600 Ukrainian children in summer camps. Finland, Finland's Prime Minister apologizes for photo of two half-naked women kissing in official residence. Massive cyber attack in Lithuania with more than a thousand websites down. The escalation is being aggressively pushed because they need a full shortage crisis to achieve their goal of global depopulation. A tidal wave of layoffs begin. Half of US companies plan to cut jobs in the next 12 months. Spain. Spain now has 50 major fires, the second worst figure of the century after 2006. The heat wave is once again putting six communities in check. The thermometer will reach 40 degrees Celsius. Spaniards disapprove of the blockade of Russian tourists to the European Union. Spanish slaughterhouses will be forced to install cameras to prevent animal abuse. Americas. It's fashionable to be Latino. In quotes, now everyone wants to be Latino. Science reggaeton musician 
Bad Bunny in El Apagón. The Latin American urban genre is one of the most popular at the moment. The craze has even infected the Spaniards, Sitangana and Rosalia. ECLAC estimates that Latin America's economy will grow 2.7% in 2022. The Southern Hemisphere event will change our civilization according to David Dunbine. After the volcanic eruption in Tonga, a lot of water vapor, vapor and ash was expelled into the atmosphere in a plumb twice as high as Pinatubo. Science indicate the Southern Hemisphere crop production will be affected, but this is not demonstrated. The Gulf of Mexico could be the focus of the next energy revolution. Mexico and the US will hold economic talks in September to resolve disagreements over the free trade agreement. Bolivia and Mexico manufacture the cheapest electric car on the market called Quantum. Bolivia will review more cases of victims of dictatorships for comprehensive reparations. The Bolivian government listens to Quechua thinkers to revitalize their culture. Guatemala authorities confirmed the expulsion of more than 9,000 migrants in 2022. Cocoa, the most precious treasure of the Utopia farm in Guatemala. The El Calabozo massacre in El Salvador is 40 years old without justice for the victims. The Honduran Security Council, the scene of a power struggle. The President of Germany will visit Costa Rica next September. Ecuador begins census of prisoners after accumulating more than 400 killed since 2020. Cuba receives humanitarian aid from Nicaragua and Bolivia for the fire in Matanzas. Colombia's president hopes tax reform will be approved soon. Colombian police to reform the mobile anti-riot squad. Colombia's attorney general suspends an arrest warrant against ELN peace negotiators. Trade between Colombia and Venezuela will have to start from scratch after a long pause. Pause, I mean, a long pause. Maduro proposes to Petro to create a binational special economic zone on the border. Guayana could change a global energy landscape. This small country is the new jewel in the crown of the oil world. Controversy in Chile over and against the constitution for promoting violence. Chile will wait 125 days for a new election if it rejects the new constitution. Opposition deputies in Argentina promote impeachment of the president. The Argentinian government suspends the hiring of state employees. 12 years in prison for Cristina Fernandez for systematic corruption. A doctor who worked at the clinic where victims of the disbanded cult in Argentina were given sleep cures is arrested. At the clinic, according to the prosecutor, in quotes, students were hospitalized and put to sleep for several days as a form of instruction and subordination. The Paraguayan prosecutor's office opens an investigation against the vice president. Lula wants to reopen negotiation on the Mercosur European Union agreement. Russia. The US and Russia blame each other for well tension at the United Nations. Russia hands over to the United Nations photos proving Kiev's attacks on the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The United Nations calls for immediate access by the International Atomic Energy Agency to the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The reason behind the bombing of Zaporizhia. Tobias Elwood, a member of the British Parliament, said that any deliberate damage to the Ukrainian nuclear reactor with a possible radiation leak would be a violation of NATO, NATO's Article 5. 
Adam Kissinger, a member of the US House of Representatives, made a similar statement. In his opinion, a radiation leak that killed people in NATO countries would automatically trigger Article 5 of the Alliance Charter. United Nations appoints experts to investigate Ukrainian prison attack. Dota of Russian philosopher, known for anti-Western stance, killed when her car exploded. Daria Dugin, Dugin daughter of the of influential Russian philosopher Alexander Dugin, was killed on Saturday when the car she was driving exploded in the Moscow region. Russia accuses Ukraine of ordering the murder of Daria Dugin. Kiev denies it. UNHCR builds 2,300 earthquakes resistant houses in Afghanistan. Space weather. Higher self is the new technology according to Dr. Xavi. Particle plasma remains as it has been for many days. Dents are pressing in and around the Earth Gaia. There is also a report that the new sunspot is growing rapidly. This could indicate that the strong solar flares are forming. Two days ago, the sunspot AR 3085 barely existed. Since then, it has grown more than tenfold, becoming a group of double sunspots with cores almost as wide as the Earth. The active region is directly in front of the Earth and crackles with C-class flares. Solar winds are nearly 600 km per second. There have been 91 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, with a 5.5 earthquake occurring in Indonesia. Storms are flooding are occurring in several places around the world, and this is usually an indication that the coronal mass ejection has occurred. Solar storms are electromagnetic plasma particles, both proton and electron streams, which activate our planet's tectonic plates and the outer auric field. Earth Gaia is anything but silent. Its vibrational frequency and amplitude are activated daily at high levels. These levels are rising as it receives more light, as it moves through the photon belt and spins faster on its axis. Many people have reported not to being able to sleep for the past few nights. Extreme exhaustion, nausea, diarrhea, diziness, and more experiences of light activation or ascension symptoms have been intensifying since scientists began to observe great activity in the cosmos that didn't line up with their textbooks for a long time. Humankind has consistently felt or perceived these powerful cosmic events on physical, mental and emotional levels. Some people are aware of the effects of com cosmic forces, as humankind uses its free will in various ways, attribute their symptoms to material situations only. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.